G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Well, logged into the uh, test server V640 update. Uh, we can see some pretty cool looking uniforms here already, which we'll run through a little bit later. Um, new character, Scarlet Spider, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll come back to this, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm in a bit of a rush. I want to get to Alliance Battle and see it, what the changes have been. Uh, I can confirm that I've run through the normal Alliance Battle. Uh, there's no changes. It's exactly the same as what it was. Um, the rewards are identical to what they were. And, you know, I've been pretty hyped up for the past few days learning that there's been a change to Alliance Battle Extreme. Um, you know, and, and the sort of endless possibilities that can come with that. We're going to get more than one Frost Beast on the, on the screen at the time. I mean, we saw the updated Frost Beast, and you can see him here at the moment. Are we going to, you know, have different creatures? Is it, you know, we're going to get an unde undead ice dragon? Um, is there going to be different mobs? Is it a uh, beast attack pattern going to be different? I mean, so many different things that could happen uh, within this mode. Uh, so pretty hyped up to run it uh, and also see if there's any changes to the rewards as well. Um, so guys, come on this journey with me. Let me know what you think of the end of the video. I'm going to quickly run through the schedule. There's no change. It's still a two-week Alliance Battle Extreme um, schedule. So round 14, exactly the same conditions. Uh, it looks to me... Like the only change is a cosmetic change to the actual arena, to the beast. Um, you guys can check the uh, check the beast movements out and uh, his attacks uh, in the coming gameplay. Uh, but let me know what you think. Um, you know, this one, the beast has silence. Uh, not the beast has silence. Characters who affect the beast with silence um, will work. Okay, so they'll cancel the beast roar. Just watch the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah. And I'll get back with some other videos on new characters, new uniforms, and stuff like that uh, after this video. But this is the one that I really wanted to focus on just to see what it meant for us, uh, you know, top players who've invested so much in the game uh, for Alliance Battle Extreme. What have we invested in? And what changes does it bring uh, to us as players? Okay, All right, guys. So it's slightly different menu as well. So support character. Okay, I don't want to click on the actual thing. How do I? Yeah, okay. So let's try this out and hopefully it works this time around. Yep, okay, we're in. No technical glitch. Good, good. But that's kind of interesting, those little magnifying glasses on the side uh, to show what the character's effects are. Okay, here he is. Pretty cool looking unit. A bit of a bigger, um, bigger horn on the front of his head. And. Uh, you know, kind of shimmery looking uh, dude as well, uh, with a bit of a green chest and that sort of setup. So let's see. Okay. And I have no idea what I, I don't even know what a blizz cable's got on. So the attack look much the same to me. Well, the meteors are coming down. Oh, it's not meteors, it's actually bits of snow or ice or something that are coming down instead of meteors. So that's kind of cool. We're going to find out very soon if his uh, raw timing is the same as what it used to be. Jeez, he's super slow. Okay. Oh god, it's a massive window. For the, to apply the silence, it's like the biggest window ever. Alright, so the next one, what we'll do is we won't apply the actual silence. And guys, I'm just spamming skills here. I'm not even concentrating on what I'm doing store wise. I'm really just watching the beast and the attacks. But he seems super slow, right? Like, not just a little bit slow, super slow. Like he's in slow motion. So look, that, that first roar was exactly the same timing as previous. Man, he's like a, he's so slow. So you, look how long you've got. Oh, you've got so long to apply the roar, uh, to apply the silence. It's not funny, that's not even funny. 
This will this will be game changing, right? Because we got certain characters in the game which are very very difficult to actually apply silence with. Uh, Black Bolt, I, I found his fifth skill quite difficult to to apply a silence. Um, Star Lord is is tricky to actually apply the silence uh, as well. And we'll just double check that. So yeah. So his resistance goes resistance goes up if you miss the roll. Yeah, okay. So it's gone up to it's gone up to 90%. So it went from I missed the first uh, well I silenced the first roll, missed the second on purpose, just missed that last one kind of on purpose as well. And so the defense the defense increase goes up to 90%, uh, exactly the same, or uh, decrease damage received up to 90%. But what it, I'll tell you what it is, they've just made they just made that window for silencing the beast roll so freaking huge that it's kind of it seems like it's taken it's taken the skill out of the game to a degree i mean if you can just apply it looked like it was probably a three or four second window where you could apply silence to the beast um so to me it looks like what netmarble have done is the prior and and I, i've always thought that the the silence thing was a glitch to silence the beast roll it looks like netmarble have gone well, okay that glitch seems to be working to a degree, and certain players are interested in in exploiting that glitch. But you know, some of the some of the player base can't. Um, what we'll do? Let's keep it, make it a part of the game, and just make it way easier for everyone in the whole game to be able to silence the frost beast. So, I don't really know what to think about this, guys. I'd like to say that it was a fantastic rework. That there was you know undead ice dragons coming out of the ice and you know two or three frost beasts at the same time that you have to fight um but it just it's it looks like you know it looks way prettier right don't get me wrong it looks like a way prettier type setup let's have a quick look at these rewards yeah so they're the same as what they were before it looks like a way prettier setup but just way easier um yeah i don't i don't really know what to say about it Except for, I think it's going to be way easier for everyone. I think I think that certain characters who were hard to cancel with before, um, so Professor X, I think he cancelled with his his fifth skill. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, I'll have to reacquaint myself with him. We sh he should just be able to cancel uh, easily. So I think it's his fifth. Has a silence, yep. So silence on the fifth. Was it on the tier three as well? No, just his fifth skill. Okay, so let's take Professor X for a run and just see how easy it is to silence with Professor X now. Don't know, does he even have an obelisk? Oh yeah, he's got a CTP of energy. So let's just do a quick challenge here. Let's uh, take Cable out. Put Professor X in. Got to remember the fifth skill. Let's see how easy it is to silence with, um, with Prof Professor X now. But to me, I, I don't know. I see so many, so many avenues where this game could actually improve um, in what it's doing. I mean, okay, we've changed, you know, they've, they've, we've still got the meteorite bar up the top, but they've changed it to look some sort of ice, ice uh, sort of thing that comes down instead of the actual meteor, so maybe they should change that as well. But to me, the beast is like way slower. It just seems like he is. You know, he's he's ready for a nap all the time. He's uh he's super slow. Uh, the mobs uh, no longer uh, the Shatari, they're more the these uh the blue dudes. So we should be able to cancel him here in a minute. So let's just see. <laughs> oh man, it's just too easy. It's just insanely easy. My God, what have they done? 
What have they done? There's like a five second window to freaking cancel the roll. My god. So any characters with, with any sort of silent skill will be able to do it. There'll be no real skill involved. Uh, you know, and, and to be honest, Professor X was stupidly hard to cancel with before, consistently, to get three cancels. So, I don't know. Alliance Battle Extreme has, to me, looks it looks very cool, but it's not extreme. It's far from extreme. Uh, we've got all these characters that can just face tank the shit out of everything uh, through all game modes. And we've just made a game mode that does require some skill. So much freaking easier for everyone. So all I have to do is press the fifth skill and it just cancels. I have to press the fifth skill through any of that phase and it cancels. Guys, I'm going to upload this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, it's kind of... I don't even know what to say, man. It's just so disappointing that there's just so many avenues. We're still fight, fighting the same beast. Uh, unfortunately, he's been handicapped. He's, it's like he's been given uh, some Valium. He's, he's super slow. The cancel window is so massive that uh, I, basically anyone who plays this game could actually cancel uh, the raw. Um, you know, whether, whether you're, you know, you're, you're a five-year-old kid or, or, you know, an experienced player that, um, you know, takes pride in, in actually having some Alliance Battle Extreme skill, it won't matter because look at that. So he's still doing, while well, over that text is on screen, if we press the fifth skill, then he's up shit creek, the boss. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I just don't get these guys. I just don't get how they can call this an extreme mode. It's um, Alliance Battle for, for dummies and Alliance Battle for babies. It's kind of bullshit. Um. <sighs> Alright guys, not a great start to this update in my opinion. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's just shit. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments.